one of the most powerful aspect of Adobe After Effects is the range of effects that you can apply to different layers. In this video, we are looking at the effect menu in After Effects. I have created this very simple composition in which I have a video background and then I have a text layer as well as this logo, which is actually a PNG image. And what I want to do is to apply some effects to different layers that I have on this composition. There are different ways that you can apply an effect to one of your layers, but perhaps the easiest way is to doing it through the effect menu. So let us now go ahead and apply an effect to this logo, the image layer that we have on the composition, so that we can change the color of this image. So what I do in this case is to select this layer, the layer that I would like to apply the effect to, and then I go to the effect menu and choose the effect that I want. As you can see, there's a lot of different effects that you can choose from. But right now, I would like to change the color of the image. So I select color correction, and then I choose hue or saturation. As soon as I apply an effect to one of my layers, as you can see, the project panel is replaced by the effect controls panel. You should not worry, we still have access to the project panel. We can simply click here on these two arrows. And then we have access to the project panel, so we can easily go back to the project panel. But let's now talk about the effect controls panel. The effect controls panel is where you can see all of the effects that you have applied to the selected layer. You can also see the options related to the effects that you have applied to the layers on the effects control panel. So right now we have applied the hue or saturation effect to the image layer and we have access to the to all of the options related to hue or saturation. So if you want we can actually change these different options. For example, we can change the master hue by clicking here and changing the degree of hue here. And as you can see as I do that, the color of the image changes. But we also can change the other options. For example, we can increase or decrease master saturation. And as I do these, you can see the result on the composition window. So let me go ahead and increase master lightness so that I get this white color for my logo. Now let me go ahead and apply another effect to the image layer. So I select the image layer and I go to the effect menu. And this time I try to apply another effect. This time maybe I apply the invert effect. So as you can see, as soon as I apply that, the color of the image inverted and the invert effect is added to the effect controls panel. To disable any one of these effects on the effect controls panel, you can just click on the FX button over here and disable that particular effect. So as you can see right now, I have disabled the invert effect and we can see the result on the composition window. I can go ahead and disable the hue or saturation. And as you can see, now I have the original image. So whenever we want, of course, we can click here and enable the effects. If you want to delete any one of these effects that you apply to the layer, what you can do is to select the effect that you want to remove and then press the delete button on the keyboard. And as you can see, that will remove that effect. If you remember from the previous video, we have seen that if we click on any one of these arrows on the left side of the name of the layers, we will have access to those layers properties. Now, let me go ahead and click on the arrow icon on the left side of the image layer. When I do that, as you can see, 
we have access to the transform properties that we have seen in the previous video. But aside from that, we also have access to the effects properties of this layer. That is because we have applied one effect to this image layer. And now if I click on this arrow key on the left side of the effects, I will have access to hue or saturation on the timeline as well. If we click on this arrow key, then we will have access to all the properties that you see on the effect controls panel, this time on the timeline. And this is particularly important because as you will see in the next videos, it is possible to animate different effects and different properties of the layers from here. Now let's apply some effects to our video layer. To do so, we select the video layer and then we go to the effect menu and choose the effect that we want. As you can see, there are a lot of different effects that you can choose from and I leave it to you to go and apply these different effects to your videos or images that you have in your project and to learn about these different effects that are available to you. But for now, let me just uh, apply a number of these effects very quickly so we have an understanding of what these different effects can do. For example, we can apply the Gaussian blur and that will blur the video, for example. We can also apply brightness and contrast effect. That will help us change the brightness or the contrast of our layers, videos, or images. We can apply, for example, the glow effect that gives this kind of glowing effect to our video. We can also apply any one of these time effects, for example, CC white time, so that we get this kind of motion blur quality to our video. Now it is your turn to go and apply different effects to the layers that you have in your project and gradually learn about what these different effects can do for you. Don't worry if you don't know all these effects for now because you will gradually learn about them and of course whenever you want to learn about any specific effect you can either experiment with it or you can search on Google.